Weather complications have created an abundant and diverse system of natural plants in Vietnam and so as natural fragrances. We have the coolness of lotus flower, the spiciness of cinnamon and a bunch of other sweet things like jasmine. The wide varieties of Vietnamese natural scents in Vietnam has been appealing to many foreigners including Clemence Barbier, a perfume maker from France. She has selected the quintessence of different plants to create a unique own product, made in Vietnam products I mean, uh, which are also associated with her experience in the country she calls home. So in today's Expat Living, we invite you to meet with this interesting woman and her improvisation of Vietnamese natural scents. Tết in Hanoi, sauna in Sapa, secrets of Dong Xuân Market. These perfumes by Clemence Barbier are 100% natural and inspired by her own experience in Vietnam. Nurturing an instinctive passion for perfume from a very young age, Clemence has traveled all over the globe to enrich her understanding of natural aromas. And after 20 years of searching, Clemence stops in Vietnam. Now in her small house in the West Lake area, Clemence is still in her search for new ways of turning pomelo and citronella into new products. At the beginning, it was uh, by, by chance. I arrived there and I found this opportunity to, um, to work here and to find some essential oils and to start like developing, you know. And there after sometimes, you know, like uh, I, I found that my products were quite well received by the Vietnamese or the environment and then, uh, then I decided just to stay here. Her own brand, Dam Clemence, has been familiar with the local community for years now. Not only perfume, but also massage oils, room fragrances, as well as napkin perfumes. She has them all covered. At the annual charity bazaar held by the Hanoi International Women's Club, Clemong launched her new line of perfume, which is influenced by her memories of the Hoi An's Cold Pagoda, the florist on the bicycle, and the night by Westlake. This is the earth, this is the sky, and now, okay, perfume, I communicate between the earth and the sky. You know, perf perfume, it comes from Latin, per fumare, through the smoke, because in the ancient times, the, um, the people, they were using incense to communicate with the gods, and to perfume and communicate with the gods. A lot of people are enchanted by Clemence's perfumes. They love Dame Clemence thanks to various reasons, mainly because of their distinctive features and the stories associated with them. The elegance of the perfume, how she, she, she finds the, the taste, the, the leather taste, the perfume or the wood perfume, it's very specific and this is what you can have. Uh, of course, you think that you can have everywhere, but She's doing the, the, the small plus that makes the things amazing. So this is your lab, right? Yeah, wow! Oh. So you see there's like bottles everywhere. A war of bottles. Big bottles, like cans, Different sizes. Like everything, yeah. Different sizes. But you have you to know? train your nose. You have to train your nose. <laughs> so you have to train and memorize. So it's yeah. like mainly when you smell, you smell mainly with your brain. Uh -huh. Because you have to memorize all this. Mm -hmm. They're all like here. To my surprise, Clemence currently owns hundreds of different fragrances from different suppliers in her working room. Some from Vietnam, some imported from other countries. Each bottle is placed in its right position, following the alphabetical order, so that she can find it right away when needed. Here is where the creative process takes place. Using her own knowledge as a chemist and a soul of an artist, Clemence meticulously works on her perfume making every day. It looks easy at first, but accompanying her to create new fragrance, I realize that it is such a painstaking job. You have to have an ability to imagine feelings and sensations and then realize them by your own formula. However complicated it is, the process is undeniably enjoyable. I like cinnamon. Can I, I have a an idea about mm -hmm. something I want to do, you know? An idea, but for, for me, it's more like a feeling I want to have. Like, uh, I want to be surrounded by these smells which, which will make me feel that way, okay? 
So then I'm thinking, okay, what can I put together mm -hmm. that I will get this feeling? Mm -hmm. This is my personal kind of creative process, mm -hmm. you know? Clemence then guides me on the way to create my own perfume. I have to Beautiful smell, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So you smell it? When you smell, you, you don't make like a... No, you just make a ah. small one. Ah. Because remember what I told you, you smell with your brain, mm -hmm. you don't smell with your nose. Mm -hmm. With her experience as a perfume making teacher, she briefs some basic knowledge on creating a completely new fragrance. Most of all, she gives me the chance to turn back in time and recreate my childhood memories with a sense I produce myself. Each drop of fragrance is carefully noted down in number. Whenever adding a new one, the combination turns out differently. It gives me the joy of customizing something for myself. Ta-da! <laughs> So now I have already two versions of my perfume I just made with uh, Clemence and uh, it seems like my childhood is waking up inside me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's a good feeling. Thank you Clemence. <laughs>
And how many kilo for one four hundred liter? In mỗi một lần mình phải cân đến một trăm cân. Mỗi một lần cân một trăm cân. One hundred kilo for one hundred liter. Bao nhiêu lít thì ra? Tầm ba mươi lít. Ba mươi. And the properties are the same. Is better fresh or is better dry? Cái này thì là mình phải mất công đun nhiều hơn công. Còn cái kia thì nó lại ra cái chất nhanh hơn. Ah, okay. I guess they have like a kind of a doctor or someone who knows really well which plant for what. Bà hoặc là mẹ hoặc là ai hoặc là bác thì người. Member. Oh, this is a family. Yeah. This is a family. Your this is a family traditional doctors like from the village or. Yeah. Rồi mẹ biết rồi thì mẹ lại lại. So they learn from the par from yes. the parents, and then they just continue. Generation. Oh, I love it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like it. My father was a doctor, and I feel a bit frustrated that he didn't transmit his knowledge to me. He was not. Our, he was a doctor in France, but not a traditional doctor, and. I feel now that my dad is not here anymore because he passed away a few years ago and I feel frustrated that I didn't or we didn't like exchange much. Okay, you know in France if I want to be a doctor I go to the to the university and I study this. But I didn't feel like I got something like the the, the generation transmission that they have in this family which wow. This is great. This one, I think for me, if I want to use it, I will use it in a kind of massage oil or I will use it in um, something to, you know, for the, freshen. for the, yeah, for freshen and as well for, but I have to first to check what kind of molecule you have in mm. it. And then maybe it's good. I th I, my feeling is that it's good for the breathing, you know, mm -hmm. when you have a cold, because I think it's a little bit yes. camphor and, and a little bit phenolic. Yes, it's quite strong. <laughs> This one, I think I, I want to try to use it in perfumes. In perfume? That's great. Yeah, yeah because it's... Many different yeah, smelling. it's more delicate. Mm -hmm. This one is really medicinal. If Strong I make a perfume with this one, then everybody will say, oh, that smells like okay. hospital, especially <laughs> the Vietnamese. Tôi rất là muốn Clay Mong có thể tạo được những cái sản phẩm thú vị với những cái tinh dầu ở đây. Tinh dầu ở đây chất lượng rất là tốt và tự nhiên. Nhưng để nó ra được thực hành một cái sản phẩm mà tinh tế thì phải có bàn tay của của perfumer như là chuyên gia như Clément. Thì tôi hy vọng là đưa Clément đến đây trực tiếp à, để chị hiểu hơn được về quá trình chiết xuất cũng như là để sau đấy chị có thể làm việc tốt hơn và đưa ra những sản phẩm tốt. Into the jungle. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recognize it. This one. Yeah. What is this plant? Long life. Long life. This is long life. Yeah. Let's take that. Ooh. Yeah. 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 Oops, uh, oh la la. <laughs> I need <Good> joy. <laughs> I need practice. Oh, we're finally home. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Okay, so after quite a long trip, we finally home, and now it's the distilling process. <laughs> okay, so now, what do we do? Hey, you feel that we have to get the medicine? The Everything in the pan? Yeah. Good, let's, let's do, do it. it.
it's smelling so much already. Yeah? yeah. I can smell the essential oil even before distillation. Oh. So this you have it till since uh, 2010, right? They designed in Hanoi and they brought all the way to here. The oil is there, we have to the, come to look there. The oil is there? Yes. Okay, let's have a look. Yes. Mm. Yes. So this is water and oil, this one? Or yeah, only oil. 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 oil? Only oil. Only oil. Yes. Because so the oil Just vaporized the, here. Yeah, yeah, but then after you have, you get cold here and then comes here and here you have water, a yes. lot of water when and a little bit oil. Little bit of water oil. oil. This is the oil? Yes. Nothing though. So this is uh, the oil. Yeah, the oil, which is the orange color. It's very, it's very dark actually for an essential oil. Yeah. Very, dark, very colorful. And then you have the water. But you should you remove the all the. Yeah, still look. You can see the two different faces. Uh -huh. The essential oil and the water. Yeah. But after they have to remove the water because the water, if there's a, they keep the oil with the water. Then it gets oxidized and yeah. then the, this is not so good. Okay. There you are. Precious. Precious, yes. Precious Tinzao. I'm always excited to see some distillation process. I've seen some in other places, but I'm always very excited when I see this. You know, it's like kind of fascinating for me. And what is exciting as well is to see whether we can cooperate and maybe, and I like to see the people which I have a project with, you know. So I hope we can do something. Anne Clemence Babier will continue on her journey to find her own Vietnamese soul in fragrances. Vietnam is one of the largest and oldest tea producing countries in the world, enjoying natural advantages with fresh air, an average height of 1,050 meters above the sea water level. Mộc Châu tea is green and acrid. So in our Vietnam at a glance uh, session this week, let's follow up reporter Đức Chung and our special guest Nicholas Nguyen to experience uh, the traditional tea producing process. Phạm Thị Linh has 30 years of experience in making tea the traditional way. Her day starts at 7 a.m. collecting tea leaves from the plantation. Today she is going to welcome a special guest. Right now Nicole and I are standing in the middle of a tea field in Mộc Châu farm town of uh, Sơn La province. And he is going to learn how to make tea from one of the most experienced tea growers in the area. Come on. Chào bác ạ. Chào anh. Dạ, yeah, chào, chào bác. Hôm nay uh, cháu có uh, anh bạn Nico ở đây. À. À, anh ấy rất là muốn học cách để làm thế nào để làm được ra chè từ những cái lá chè tươi như thế này. À. Thì bác có thể dạy cho anh ấy giúp cháu được không ạ? Được. Nico ơi, um, now your mi uh, mission is yeah. now to learn how to make uh, tea from her. Okay. And uh, so off we go. Okay, let's see. Thank you. Dạ, chào bác ạ. Dạ, chào anh. Bác có thể cháu với để làm như thế nào để để hái trà? Bây giờ trà xuân thì hái chừa một tôm hai lá. Dạ. Một cá hai chừa thì là hái cái tôm này để một cái bút trà như này để hái chừa cái lá cá này. Dạ. Một... Bây giờ cháu có hái đeo như bác này không? Dạ. Nó cũng cuốn bạt đeo sọt thì hái thử xem nào. Dạ. Nhá. Dạ. Ừ, đây thì cũng đội lón đi. 
Đấy, xong cho quấn cái bạt này vào cho nó khởi ướt này Ờ, thế hả dạng? Ờ, đấy Thôi xin Ờ Tôi có thể giúp cháu với Ờ Bắt Đấy, người làm chè là bị vất vả lắm đấy Cứ phải quấn thế đấy Đấy, cho luôn cái dây qua đây Luôn cái dây qua, 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 qua này Đấy <cười> Mạng không vừa Bèo quá Không được Đây 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 Đấy chóng móc vào đây Đấy Thế nào cháu tự hái Đây này Hái những cái búp này À dạ cái này chỗ này là hái rồi Đấy dạ. những cái búp như này Dạ vâng Đấy đấy Thấy cho cháu cũng Đấy thế Đấy thế này không được Bao rồi Bao nhiêu rồi ạ Cái này là nó hỏng rồi Cái này mình chỉ cấu cái này Còn cái này để cho nó lên chứ Mình ấy của tỏi này là không được Một ngón tay cái Một ngón này Bẻ như này bẻ thế này, à, đấy. Dạ. đấy thế, làm như vậy, đấy. cho bác đi ra cháu cứ tự hái xem nhá, dạ vâng ạ, ừ. dạ, cảm ơn bác ạ, thế là cháu phải hái làm sao phải được một cân để về sao, một cân nào, một cân về sao để lấy hai lạng chè khô, ok mà cháu cố gắng ạ, cháu cảm ơn ạ. Those who pick tea leaves for the first time would find difficulty in recognizing the tea buds among the leaves, and Nicole is not an exception. Let's go on. Try my best, but uh, it's very hard. It's too hot for me. It took him some time to recognize the difference between buds and leaves, especially under a blazing sun. Drying tea leaves seems to be the more difficult step for new tea makers like Nico and I. The leaves must be dried in a pan many times. It's too hot for me. I don't know how hard this is really is. Let me give you this a try. Nico, uh, can I try this? Uh, see yeah, how so it is? Course, yeah, yeah. All right. Please, <laughs> you're welcome. <laughs> oh, you're my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll release your stress for a couple minutes. I feel better. Cô bây giờ như thế này là vò đi xong rồi ấn như này ạ, miết xuống ạ. Vò hai tay ấy tay vò cho nó săn cái chè vào. Tea leaves then would continue to be dried under the heat until it is really dry and crispy. This work is harder than expected. I feel drunk. I feel I think I feel drunk from the tea something. Maybe also because of the the sun. So hot for me. Đây. Cố gắng lên. And here is our tea. You have your cup of tea here, yeah. right? All, all day effort into this cup of tea. Is it worth it? Yeah, I think so. It was. Yeah. Just for the experience, it's mm -hmm. very, it was very nice to meet Madame Lin. And uh, I hope I will come back uh, with more people and uh, just to show them uh, how to do the tea to All prepare right. it. Perfect. Well, let's enjoy it. Located on the edge of Oan city of Guangnam province, Cha Gui is a charming little village well known for its sweet scented and green vegetables that spice up on the daily meals of Hoi An people. So in this edition of Time Out Today, our host Lan Nang will take you to discover the art of cultivating vegetables in Cha Gui village. Home to nearly 200 farming households on a total area of 40 hectares, Cha Gui village has been well known for its high quality herbs for more than 300 years. The fragrance of Chia Gui herbs has spiced up everyday meals in Hoi An town for generations, adding a special touch to signature dishes like Bánh Xèo, Cao Lâu or Mi Quang. Well, 
Chakwe is not only a brand known for planting high quality fresh vegetables, but also an attractive destination for local and foreign travelers. Here is where tourists come to discover the cultivation of varieties of uh, fresh vegetables and herbs grown in the region and widely used in Vietnamese cuisine. So let's follow me in today's time out to enjoy the aromatic and fresh aftertaste of the fresh herbs and gain a unique experience of being a vegetables grower in one day. Tourists are served with a unique welcome drink made from basil seeds, ginger and various herbs when they arrive. And of course, a farm tour can't start without actual farming clothes, hats, tools and especially an experienced local farmer as tour guide to share the art of herb cultivation. Cái mùi rau thơm của của cái rau của làng rau trà quế này à, thực tế là nó thơm vì do cái đất, ừ, cái đất của làng rau trà quế này nó thơm và cộng thêm nữa là mình cái kỹ thuật á, mình lấy cái cây rong từ dưới sông về mình làm, à, nó 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 tạo cho cái chắc chắc nó nó mát, ha, mát, nó xếp nên tạo thêm cái hương phấn cho cây rau còn thà thực còn thơm thêm. Just one hand. <laughs> Tourists are then instructed to rake and fertilize the soil, plant and water vegetables. None of the steps are as easy as they may look. is easy you have to try doing so with these watering cans you know the water is heavy and it's really hard to keep both of the cans balanced this is really labor intensive Coming from a world's leading country in terms of agriculture technologies, these Israeli tourists are amazed by the manual yet effective farming method as well as the diligence of local farmers. All the time we hear uh, about the hard work that the Vietnam people uh, f uh, work at the field, but now we can see it. It's very common and uh, simple, not modern. Uh, stuff, but uh, they make uh, the job the same as the modernity and the technology uh, tools. I'm more than happy that uh, we choose uh, this way of trip. I think that this is a good experience for us because, you know, we didn't live in the village and this is the first time that we are working in the gardens and it's amazing. It's amazing. It's hard work. You meet these uh, vegetables in the supermarket, but it's when you are going to work and to grow these uh, vegetables, I don't know, it's amazing how these people are working so hard to giving you the vegetables to the supermarket. To finish the tour, visitors can relax with a medical herbs foot massage before saying goodbye to the farmers. There's nothing better than having a massage after a hard work time digging the soil, planting, watering and fertilizing vegetables. Well, if you want to discover some rich tradition that make up Vietnamese culture or simply want to have a taste of fresh and organic herbs, this is the place to visit. Well, I hope you have enjoyed the show as much as I've enjoyed the experience today. Well, I see you in the next time out. Goodbye. And that has been our edition of our Green Expert Living for this week. I hope you have been enjoying a journey from the natural fragrances of Clumont's Barbier to Mok Chow Tea as well as the Cha Quế Village uh, sweet scented vegetables. We do hope to receive more comments and suggestions from you guys. Please write to us at expertliving at vtv.vn. Thank you very much once again and goodbye for now. <laughs>